गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सोमो श्रीकंत कंसल्टेंट सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट एट यशोदा हॉस्पिटल सिकंदराबाद टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओरियन कैंसर वर्ल्ड वाइड देर आर अराउंड थ्री लैक केसेज विच आर बिंग डिटेक्टेड ऑन एन एनुअल बेसिस एंड वी आर ऑल्सो लूजिंग अराउंड टू लैक पेशेंट्स पर ईयर वर्ल्ड वाइड द मेन रीजन फॉर दिस इज मोस्ट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स आर बिंग डिटेक्टेड एंड एडवांस स्टेज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली सेवेंटी फाइव टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स कम टू अस एट स्टेज थ्री और स्टेज फोर कंडीशन The common age group for ovarian cancer is around 55 to 65 years old. What are the symptoms of ovarian cancer? Generally there are no specific symptoms for ovarian cancer. In early stages the patient might experience low pelvic pain or abdominal pain. They might have a feeling of bloating sensation or irregular menstrual periods or vaginal discharges. In advanced stages we get to see patients with uh, abdominal distension. This is due to fluid within their abdominal cavities. they might lose appetite there might be a significant loss of uh, weight and patient might also be having bone pains and other symptoms like cough or breathlessness due to fluid being collected in the lungs these are generally seen in advanced cases the risk factors for ovarian cancer generally age is a significant risk factor for ovarian cancer with increasing age uh, the risk also increases generally people who are above 50 years of age with each year there is an increase of 2 to 5% per year of an increased risk of ovarian cancer the other risk factors are uh, generally due to genetic causes approximately around 5 to 10% of cases are due to genetic causes like braca mutations brca1 brca2 and the other risk factors are early menarche late menopause or women who don't have any pregnancies during their lifetime we also call them as nulliparous women and who do uh, inadequate breastfeeding during their lifetime and uh, who have late pregnancies generally what we have seen is Uh, in other studies and all they have shown that pregnancy after 30 35 years of age have shown to increase the risk of ovarian cancer in those women and the other risk factors are obesity smoking or usage of hormone replacement therapy for longer durations how do you evaluate for an ovarian cancer so the basic investigation for any patient with such symptoms are ultrasound abdomen so when we detect and mass within the abdomen which are arising from the ovary then we proceed with other investigations there's a basic blood test called ca125 which is a blood test which is generally elevated in advanced ovarian cancers the other test depend on the staging so we generally do a ct scan or mri scan to know the characteristics of the mass what stage it is in and right now nowadays we are even doing pet ct scan to even evaluate the other organ systems so to decide on the stage so what are the treatment options we have for uh, ovarian cancer so the generally ovarian cancer tre- treatment generally revolves around surgery and chemotherapy so generally if it's an early stage we generally uh, prefer surgery in engaged women who gen- generally have germ cell tumors we generally preserve the uterus and the opposite ovary we just remove the ovary on the same side and we do pelvic lymph, lymph node dissections these are generally nodal tissue and the fatty tissue on either side along the vessels and also omentectomy this is generally a fat tissue be- below the stomach and in elderly patients who have completed the family or some younger patients who have completed the family we generally do in op- epithelial ovarian cancers is we remove the uterus both the ovaries along with that the nodes and along an omentum and generally chemotherapy generally involves six cycles and if it's an early stage stage 1a or stage 1b only surgery is sufficient and the patient can generally be under follow up stage 1c and above and advanced cases we generally give six cycles of chemotherapy So, what is the sequence of treatment? Either surgery first or chemo first. Generally, depends on the stage you present in and the and the nature of the disease within your uh, abdomen. So, if it's a very advanced stage where surgery is not feasible in the first sitting, uh, it has spread to uh, liver or lungs and everything. We generally give chemotherapy first and then we reassess the patient with again a CT scan or a PET CT and then we decide on surgery after three cycles. and if the surgery is feasible first we generally go with surgery and based on the report we give adjuvant chemotherapy so there are multiple new options now we have target therapies immunotherapy is also coming up in a big way and which have shown very good results and improving the survival rates of patients with ovarian cancer is there any prevention for ovarian cancer the answer is no there is no miracle drug or any injection which can prevent ovarian cancer only thing is when you have symptoms try to consult your doctor at the earliest and get a scanning done so that we can detect them at an early stage and cure your problem and those patients who have a genetic issues we generally ask them to get screen for mutations braca mutations or 
uh, HMPC syndrome mutations so that we can detect them early and if those mutations are detected in you and you have completed your family we generally prefer doing a bilateral oophorectomy to prevent the occurrence of ovarian cancer in such cases thank you